Hi everyone. I have not posted in forever. Uh, honestly, life has just been so busy. I am 36 weeks along, so I'm due August 24th. We're getting close. Uh, last time I talked to you, I had released a video on my um, jelly roll quilt that I had done that pattern and I was showing me quilting it and everything. Well, this I've since released is my newest pattern. It's called Pleasing Plaid Quilt and it's available now in my shop. The link is in the description. Um, we're actually getting ready to start a quilt along August 1st through September 2nd. And you might think I'm crazy. How am I doing that when I'll have the baby? <laughs> I've actually went ahead and made the version that I'm making for the quilts along in advance so I can just post and still keep up. Uh, Signups are also open right now for the quilts along. There will be weekly prizes and um, you'll want to follow it on Instagram because that's how I'll be doing the prizes um, and just talking about you know the week's goals and my quilt and everything. So the link for all that information is in the description. But this one is my solid version. I loved this quilt pattern so much that I made four sample versions apart from the quilt along version that I've already made. And they just were so fun to make. It is such a quick quilt. This is the traditional three colorway option and then I have it also for scrappy that you can do. And then it is fat quarter friendly, but there's just a lot of um, leftover essentially. So I have those tips in the pattern. There's a coloring sheet as well. The quilts along um, will be weekly goals. And then I will be just posting what I'm doing, what I made for that week. And I actually can't wait to show you that version because it's awesome. Uh, another version that I made, which I still have yet to bind, is this one this is midnight in the garden it's sweet fire road um for moda i just thought oh my goodness it's so striking i have never made a quilt like this it looked very fall to me and it just i don't know, i loved it so much and i made a patriotic version as well which is not nearby so <laughs> um i am currently wall basing this if you follow me on Instagram, you've seen I've been posting a lot of videos about wall basing because I am pregnant <laughs> and I just don't want to bend down. So this is the first time I've pin basted on a wall. Usually I just do the spray, but since I am quilting this myself with the minky, I have decided that I'm going to go ahead and pin baste it since this spray doesn't usually work. Um, on the mesh backing that is with us. And I have quilted tons of quilts on the Cuddle Lux Minky by Shannon Fabrics um, my, on my domestic and I've sent them out a lot as well. They make for the most warm and snuggly quilts ever. I love it. I actually use this type of backing more than any other kind of backing. So all I've done here is just tacked up the backing then the batting and then the quilt over all of that. I just used a uh, straight pin on my design wall and then I'm going from left to right. I am inserting all of the pins, okay? As I am inserting one row, I then take it off and I'm just rolling it again, smoothing as I go. So you can see you know, it's getting a little bit extra. I started on the left because I didn't have as much um, leeway. On the right, you can see I have a little bit more room. So then now I'm gonna go through and add pins down here, and then I will continue rolling it. And then that way when I start quilting, um, I will be able to go ahead and quilt. And I actually didn't realize that I had it oriented the wrong way from where I wanted to quilt it, um, but it doesn't actually matter because now that I am doing it this way, I can actually just do straight lines here, which works out even better. 
So you want to just make sure that your rolling is going to go with how you're orienting your quilt on your domestic machine. So I will go ahead and um, continue this when I get it done. Hopefully I'll post another video. <laughs> I've been doing a little cross stitch. I, we are still renovating our kitchen. Um, I decided to do a nursery at the last minute. So we moved one of my sons to another room and then I did his room. There's just been a ton going on and editing videos on here is just a little bit more involved. So um, you can follow me at home with Andrea Sims and on Instagram and I am updating there all the time because it's just easy to just grab the phone real quick, you know, take a video, um, no editing needed. So uh, that is it for today's video. I hope that you found this helpful. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments. I am still really hoping to continue posting here um, on a little bit more regular. We'll just have to kind of see how life goes. Thanks for watching.